Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Already, when we left off, uh, it was pretty late at night, uh, the time I was recording, so I couldn't actually do the voice for some of the swoop registration people. But, uh, well, mainly the hut in the swoop registration building. But now I can because it's not as late at night. Where uh, people should still probably be awake right now if they're normal. So, there's that. <laughs> anyway, so, I shall go talk to Mata the Hut. Who are you? Ah, nobody. What do you want? Uh, hands out. Hand out. Go dig a mine, fool. I can't fucking talk. That didn't help. <laughs> I'm looking for uh, information. Can you help? Not interested in helping. Only interested in racing. I get enough beggars through here looking for money. Let's have a look at you. Mm. Just a human. Nothing really special. You race? Maybe you own a swoop? I raced on Taurus. I won the season opener there. Ha! You and 12 other liars. Planet blows up, race records are lost, and now everyone is a champion. My friend tells the truth. I am a Jedi. Are you going to imply that I am lying as well? Ho oh, ho! Now you are champion and travel with the Jedi? Does the story get bigger with every telling? Nobody here can compare with the racers you rode against on Terrace. You'll wipe every record from the books this backwater track. Okay, okay, enough of the funny stuff. You think you're a racer? You'll be one. You have your own bike? I have my own bike stored in my ship because I stole it from Davik and he had a swoop racer on it, so thus it's now mine. You got a bike, then you can race. I don't care about experience, so long as you can get out on the track. And if you crash and burn, that's your problem. I just need warm bodies to pad the roster between the pros. Fuck. Alright, there is the matter of a small track maintenance fee. A hundred credits. Uh, why not drop the fee? No racers means no crowds. Well, I suppose you're right, but I'm not dropping it the whole amount. Fifty credits, that's it. Uh, I, I don't really want to race right now, but I guess I did get him to successfully lower it to 50 credits, so there is that. Yeah, I'm a little rusty anyway. Okay, I'll do this bit on camera, but any money... I'm actually trying to make, I'll be doing it uh, off camera. <laughs> because we get swole financially <laughs> off camera. <laughs> that was that was stupid. That was a stupid joke. Why do I make stupid jokes like that? Why? Why? <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Pay the 50 credits. Good. That means you mean business. Or that shows you mean business. Now you can use the track for recreational runs, or I can give you an official race right away. Just ask me when you want to start, and here's some business I need help with, if you're serious about promoting races. Okay, what sort of business do you need help with? I make my money off of siding good racers. Good ones, not great ones. I want them young and stupid. Okay, I see where this is going. I've got one. Nico Senvi. Great potential. Only started racing a year ago and loves it. He lives for it now. And? Sounds like you have something special. What do you want help with? What I want is simple. I want Nico to sign a contract with me, and I want you to convince him. I'll pay well. So you'll pay me well to do it, but you won't pay Nico well. Kind of fucked, dude. That's pretty fucked. I'm not gonna lie. Then again, this is a hut we're talking about. He's gonna do some fucked up shit anyway. Uh, why would he listen to me? He doesn't trust me. Actually, none of them do. I'm the promoter. I do it for money. They all just want the glory. You're a swoop jock like him. You're new, but if you win enough, he'll respect you. I'm counting on him. If he doesn't, make him choose correctly. You look like you could scare some sense into him. Wow, you're going to make me fucking threaten him? What the fuck, dude? If anything, I should threaten you. I think you should give him a better deal. You're not going to pull that typical swoop jockey attitude, are you? This is business, and I know what's best. What do you care whether I make money off the kid or not? He wants to race, and you'll get paid. We all win. 
Treat him fairly or I'll start rumors your races are rigged. I don't think you would. It would taint the racers that won on my track. That includes Nico and others. You want to give Nico a better deal? No, no I don't. What is this, a joke? Quit fooling around, I mean business. Shit. <laughs> I thought that would work. Alright. Give him a better deal or I bury you under your track. Wow. Be a little, be a little extreme. Uh, let's go back to some basic questions about Nico. What I want is simple. I want Nico to sign a contract with me and I want you to convince him. I'll pay well. Why won't he sign? The deal basically says that I fund his bike and repairs, but in return I take a hefty cut of his winnings. That isn't fair. On Terrace you had to give a cut to the Swoop Gang sponsoring you, but at least the rider got the higher share of the winnings. He knows it's harsh, but he can't afford to go pro on his own, and he doesn't want to give up racing. I've got him where I want him. I just need you to give him a little push in the right direction. Or big shots. I'm not interested in being your for enforcer, dude. No, no, you are a representative, and you'll be his friend. Let him know what the right choice is. It's the best way. I'll be here if you change your mind. Now, was there something else? Uh, let's talk about the rewards for racing. Ah, I set up a quick three-tier system so people know where they stand. I pay for the first time to reach each tier. Explain what the different tiers are. The, this tier one here are strictly amateurs. Might get a good race out of them now and then, but they aren't going anywhere. Reach tier two and you show promise. You're still fodder for the pros, but you're pretty good. Tier three. Only one of my local guys in that range. Nico. Good chance to go pro if he knows what's good for him. What does each tier pay? Tier one is ten racing bonds. Tier two, I pay thirty racing bonds. Tier three, I give eighty. You'll agree that the amount is fair. I pay each level only once. I'm not here to support you. I only pay to encourage constant improvement. What are bonds? Couldn't you just pay me credits? Racing bonds are monetary notes I issue so vendors know who my friends are. Any merchant will buy these. Each bond is worth 60 credits, give or take. Depends on the merchant. Then why can't you just give me the fucking credits? You fucking cheapskate. You asshole. Alright, alright, I'll go with your stupid fucking system. Alright. Are there any pro racers here? There aren't a lot of pro racers anywhere with Taras gone. I'm going to try and build up one or two of my own. But I suppose there are a couple of pros here. Some has been and never were types. That sort of thing. Zoris Bafka is the best of the lot, outside my local champ Nico. Most racers in her league never stop here. Okay. Fair enough. I think that answers most of my questions. Be back later. All right, but don't make me regret giving you track access. I need racers that race. Well, I paid the fee, so at least I can go do that racing eventually. Ah, uh, I don't think there's much else. I need to do track coordinator. Well, another swoop jock come to get the track a try. It's just a 20 credit timing fee for recreational runs. Uh, why is there a fee? Well, Mata pays. No, oh, sorry. Well, Mata pays for the timing on official runs, but rec runs are staffed by volunteers. They deserve a little something. Besides, paying for runs keeps usage down. That way, we don't crowd the pros off the track. Let's try an officially timed race. We have to go through Mata for that. Ow. There's money in it, too. He pays riders for good times to encourage competition. Okay. Fine, I'll go through Mata. God, doing that voice is grating. Ah, it's you again. So, is this about the racing or business? One or the other. I've got no time for anything else. Okay, let's talk about the racing. Yes, you'll be wanting a race. I'm sure you'll give the Swoop fans a good show. Yeah, with my rustiness. Uh-huh. Just set me up with a race. Certainly. We just need to clear up the pro uh, positioning fee. All racers pay the same fee before each officially timed race. I already paid a maintenance fee. The fee is due before each race. How am I? How else am I supposed to sponsor prize money at the level I do? 
I need to see some returns. I'm investing in my riders, but I also need to see profit now. You'll agree with my logic. If you don't, you don't race. Will you n negotiate on the price? Because I already paid you the 50 for the fucking maintenance shit. I don't feel that I need to. The price is reasonable. I'll put on a good show. You'll make your money back. Eh, fine. I will extend this discount to you, if only to close your mouth. I'll have you bike moved into position. But I warn you, I have people who make sure I don't give too many favors. You won't get this discount again. You'll go against Garen Totrell's time in the first tier. He's a local boy new to the sport. Time to beat is 23.90. Oh jeez. Swoop Racing fans, we have an official race about to commence. Make some noise for this new contender. Sure, okay. Why not? Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Hey, I did it. I beat his time. Fuck yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat anyone else's time. <laughs> Woo! You passed the first tier and have earned 10 racing bonds. Not a bad showing for a beginner. You beat Garm's time easily. Take this with my thanks. We'll see if you can do any better in tier 2. Uh, I'll, I'll do that off camera. <laughs> I'll do the rest of them off camera. I was as happy I just managed to do it the way I did it. Oh, my phone just turned on. Give me a second to check uh, if that's a message about some shenanigans at work. One moment. Nope, nothing dire. Apparently it was my mother sending me a meme. <laughs> Apparently Fluffy's exorcism was not going as expected. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll stop for now. Alright, but don't make me regret giving you track access. I need racers of that race. Alrighty. I managed to do it, so there's that. This things better be fucking worth it. Alright. Uh, let's talk to Garm, since I passed his time. Garm Tatral. Wow, you're pretty good. I mean, I'm just a swoop kid starting out, but you blew past my time easy. Uh. Whoa, that line is fucking brutal. I'm gonna leave now. Goodbye. Race hard. Watch for rocks. Alright. Whew. I think I've cleared anything that was in my throat out with doing the fucking Hutt's voice. God damn. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, we did that. Y'all can't say I didn't. Oh, I forgot to talk to Nico. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> okay, I should probably do that. I should probably do that. Wow. Mission's pathfinding broke. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, shit. That is hilarious. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> it was stupid. Let's talk to Nico. Oh, hi. Oh, you another basic? Racer, then? Okay, cool. I heard someone new was talking to Mata. Always room for more, I guess. Don't know how much longer I'll be around here. But maybe we'll have time for a few races. Uh, do you know uh, much about tattooing? Sorry. I've been here a few years, but only for the racing. Maybe ask over at okay. Plaza's club. The hunters get around. Fair enough. Uh, I wanted to ask some questions about racing. You have to step up and do it to know anything about it. You will understand once you post some fast times. Are you saying I ain't good? I breezed past Garm's time. It's, and I, I'm rusty as shit. It's, yeah, out of mind. Yeah, out of your mind. Where's the best place to get bike upgrades around here? If there's anything around, it'll be at the Zerka store in their office in the center of town. Stock is scarce on this rock. That's also a thing. Uh, they keep talking about upgrades you can get to your bike, but there's no implementation of any, as far as I'm aware. Um, I've looked into it. I don't know why it's not there, but it's just not. I, I don't know why. Anyway, how long have you been racing? Just a few years. I used to run down in the canyons, but nobody sees you down there. I wanted crowds. 
Are you any good? I've been told I am. I might go pro. I'm looking at some contracts, but that's between me and Mata. What does racing pay? Mata has some basic incentives for good times, which you probably know, but this is just an amateur track. The pro circuit is where the real credits are, but even that is hurting. I guess a lot of riders were on Terrace. Yeah, a little. A little bit of all of them. Hurry it up, all right? I have things on my mind. Wow. You are an asshole. I talked to Mata about you. Did you? I'm not sure that's any of your business. He made it my Racers business. keep to their own. I don't know you. Maybe if you were better wow. on the track, I might feel like talking about it. Someone who can turn out the fast times might understand. <laughs> How about suck my ass? But that. Devour my cold. Right? Ah, fuck you. I, I All don't right. talk to you See anymore. you around the track. Yeah, see you around the track. Beat your ass. Alrighty. Now let's continue on. Now, uh, I want to see if we can pick up that robot, that robot. Alrighty. What the? It's a rather weirdly large group here. Hey, Bastila. You ever use the forest just for fun? You know, a little jolt of the forest to trip up some jerk who's ticking you off? I would never use the force for such petty and trivial revenge. The mere thought of it's preposterous. Aw, oh, come on. There's gotta be times when you've thought about it. Don't be so stuck up. You can tell me. I am not stuck up. Yes, you I are. I only have the years of training to give me the wisdom and understanding to see how childish such an act would be. Uh-huh. Childish? Is that a crack about my age? You ain't much older than me, Miss High and Mighty. Just because you're some Jedi doesn't mean you can be a prissy little... <laughs> what the... Hey! <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, Mission. Come now, we have to get going. Please, do try to be less clumsy in the future. She put the thought in her head, so she went for it. <laughs> Fuck it. You are such a child, Bastila. To be fair, Mission's not much better. But that was fucking childish, and you know it. You know it, and you love it. You fucking little shit. Okay. Gods, I love these fucking kids. All right. Let's go to the droid shop. See if we can pick up that droid we were uh, hearing about who can speak to sand people. So that'd be good. Uh, Yukalaka. HK-47. What a name. Defense turret. Can't talk to you. Utility droid. Beep, 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 boop. This droid does not respond. It is obvious. It obviously needs extensive repairs. For all you know, it could have been lying out in the desert for years. Well, yeah. Probably. Greeting. Hello to you, prospective purchaser. I am referred to as HK-47, a fully functional Sizetech Corporation droid skilled in both combat and protocol functions. Query. Would you be combat too. to purchase this model from Yukalaka? It would serve my purposes to be removed from his ownership. Sell yourself, droid. Why would I need you? Okay, that's a little bit of a lie. You mentioned battle and protocol? Outline your functions. Refusal. It is not desirable for me to reveal core functions while still in the possession of Yukalaka, prospective purchaser. It is sufficient to say that I am a fully capable translator and cultural analyst. And I am also proficient in... Personal combat. Aha. Uh -huh. Doesn't Yuka question you about your reluctance to reveal your functions? Explanation. It is rare for a droid to resist an owner in this way. Doubtless the Athorian considers my stubbornness an embellishment to add interest to a seemingly mundane protocol droid. Hmm. Why are you keeping the information to yourself? Explanation. I have been recently fitted with a restraining bolt, if you must know. Uh -huh. With it in place, access to much of my memory core is restricted. Not to mention that the fool Ithorian might raise his asking price if he knew more, or make inquiries into my history. Neither outcome is beneficial to me. I see. Access to your memory is restricted. Statement. Indeed. It 
is possible that the Athorian placed the restraining bolt on me to prevent my return to a previous owner. Oh, that's kind of fun. It is also possible that the removal of the bolt will not restore memory functions. Without my memory, I do not know if I know the answer. Do not mm. interpret this as a reduction of my worth, however. My capabilities are quite expansive. How do I know you'll be loyal once the restraining bolt is removed? Assurance. I am fully autonomous, but lack resources. Okay. I will grant loyal service in exchange for proper maintenance. As well, right. it is rare that I am able to utilize my full array of abilities. You seem likely to give me the opportunity to do so. Why would you assume that? Extrapolation. You are no farmer or diplomat. You are armed and comfortable as such. We will mesh well. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's go back to my previous questions. Objection. My functions are wasted here, prospective purchaser. I will answer your queries, but I assure you, I am better utilized elsewhere. I'm not familiar with Sysdeck Corporation. What else do they make? Answer. With the restraining bolt in place, I do not have access to my memory core. Mm -hmm. I suspect, however, by the fine quality of my manufacture, that they are a prestigious company indeed. <laughs> prestigious I suspect company. I am of unique construction, or perhaps I was intended for a very specific customer. How I ended up here, I can hardly say. It is sufficient to say that I am a fully capable translator and cultural analyst, and I am also proficient in personal combat. I also like that he's a... <laughs> For lack of a better phrase, just uh, tooting his own robo horn there. Like, well, considering how fine and qu uh, quality made I am, I must be from a very prestigious company. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, alright. Let's go back. Okay. Uh, I'll see about purchasing it. Statement The Fool Thorian has decided I am to be an expensive purchase. He does this out of greed. And not out of knowledge of my true capabilities. Huh. Advisement. I have observed him. He is a coward and will be responsive to aggressive bargaining. Does Yukalaka know you talk about him like this? Statement. I wish only to be purchased and away from ill treatment at the hands of this poorly skilled mechanic. I have no desire to be subtle. Qualification. Okay. Oh, of course I shall be quite pleasant to you should you purchase me. Please. <laughs> I like that about face, that heel turn there. It's like, I, if, if you're good to me, I'll be good to you. Please, get me out of here. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. All right. I get it. I get it. Yukalaka, you're, you're bad at your job. So, this robot wants out. What's this? A customer I don't recognize? Perhaps you bring off-world money to Yukalaka. Uh, my money is my own business. Of course it is, of course, but you must appreciate the finer things. Just take a look at the uh, droid I have available, an HK-47. It's a fine protocol translator. I think it's been modified. It claims to understand the Sand People dialect. It also has some armor mount. Combat ready, perhaps? Well, apparently. That's what it was saying to me. Uh, I'm looking... I don't think I should... Yeah, maybe I can mention that. It's just a simple mechanic. He probably won't uh, say anything to anyone. Looking for exotics. Something called a star map. I deal mostly in swoop parts and droid maintenance. Hmm. Maybe I heard a Jawa mutter something about old things. But I could have misheard. They cover very large areas with the scavenge. But aren't doing much right now. What's stopping them from scavenging? Again, I may have misunderstood, but I think some of their tribe mates are missing. I think they wanted help. I stay away from trouble, but if you are interested, there is a Jawa by the city gate. You'll need a droid to translate, though. I understand most languages fine. Really? The Jawas give me trouble. Say, so, hey, maybe I could interest you in a multi-purpose droid? HK-47, very nice. Did the Jawas bring you this? No, they keep assembled or working units to sell themselves. They don't have them often. No place to store them. Mostly, they bring in parts. There's the occasional antique, old blasters and the like. Tatooine has a few buried secrets. 
what do you have in stock besides droids? Ah, looking for droid or swoop bike parts? Hmm? Well, I have a few things. I may have a few things. Would you like to look at what is in stock? Uh, yeah. We'll see. Very well. There's not much at the moment, but it's better than nothing. And as you can see, there is no thing for swoop bikes whatsoever. There's no additional stuff you can tack on or what have you. Um, it would be nice if you could, but unfortunately, there's nothing. So you're stuck with what you got. Uh, Verpine Demolitions Probe. Whoa. Plus four. Huh. Advanced targeting computer. A weapon focus for blaster pistol and rifle. Hmm. Heavy plating, medium plating, and light plating. Huh. I, I'm thinking I should save some of my money for uh, buying HK. So, uh... I'll just see how much he actually is. Welcome back. Yes, I knew you would return. I still have that droid available. This HK-47 is a good deal. You are really pushing that HK-47. Uh, let me ask you a few questions about him. Of course, let me just say that every function I've tested has performed perfectly. Those that I can find, anyway. You don't seem to know much about it, even though you keep pushing it. This unit has been a little uncooperative. They get that way when they go too long without a memory wipe. And if the unit proves even more uncooperative once we purchase it... You can leave it alone if you find its mannerisms amusing. It might be a little eccentric, but it's stable. Why haven't you wiped its memory? I would have, but I can't seem to access any inner circuits. It's definitely built for security and built to last. At any rate, he claims that it doesn't have access to its own memory core anyway. Could be telling the truth, it's hard to say. Uh, what functions have you tested? I haven't examined its programming, but I have made some observations. It has obvious protocol and translation skills, including sand people dialects, apparently. Surprisingly, it also handles weapons exceptionally well. I'd even say it's seen combat, but it won't tell. Stubborn thing. It needs to sell itself better. Two moisture farmers have been in, but it just stood there. So, it... So, he's aware that farmers would not have enough money to purchase him, nor would they want to purchase him in the first place. And doesn't sound like he wants to go to one of them either. What does the designation mean? <laughs> Haven't got a clue. It doesn't match any protocol or utility standard. I'm assuming it's a retired model. I tell you to ask the thing yourself, but it's pretty stubborn. Quality construction, though. Uh, where did you get it? I acquired the droid from a friend that managed an off-world Zerka warehouse. It was in trade for a debt he owed. Gee, that doesn't sound suspicious at all. Yeah. House workers have a bad habit of paying off their debts with other people's property, you know? He said no one would miss it. it might have been surplus. It doesn't look like it was Zerka made, though. Hmm. So, clearly not Zerka made. No one would miss it. And someone just passed it off to you. I should absolutely call the cops on this guy, but... You know. Wouldn't be good for business. Let's talk price. Well, normally I'd give a discount because I hear you are a swoop racer like my brother. But times are hard right now. It's a very solid machine, in good shape. I can't let it go for less than 5,000 credits. Could I convince you to lower it a bit? Four thousand. Not a credit less. That was quick. Desperate to sell. Ah, no, not really. But the first figure really was a bit high. You never know. The occasional person bites right away. I still can't pay that. I'm not interested. Well, then we are done talking. Oh. Uh. Uh. You'll not find anything like the droid I'm selling. Let's see if I can try that again. 
Um, and if the unit proves, I, I probably have to go through the line again. Uh, let's talk price. I started too high last time. Let's go with four thousand credits. Come now, think of the advertising you'll get from me. People will think I was a fool to sell at such a price. I will not. I started too high last time. Let's go with four thousand credits. Oh. Okay. Um. You know what? You know what? That's, uh. That's a bit too evil for my blood. It's a bit too evil for my blood. I'm not gonna lie here. Um. I still can't pay that. I'll, I'll see if I can get his, uh, get the robot's, uh, opinion on it. Hello to you, Prosquiri. Would you... Um... Okay, so he doesn't have anything extra for me. Okay. I am wasted in a shop or translating for some moisture farmer. If you need an efficient combatant, return to purchase me. I beg you. <laughs> I beg you. Wow, he really wants to get out of here. Okay. Well, I'll just end the episode here for right now. And, uh, yeah. With that in mind, uh, I'll probably be picking him up next episode. Uh, for right now, though, uh, I need to rest my voice because doing the Hut's voice is really hard on it. So, Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and, you know, exploring Tatooine still a little bit. Mainly Anchorhead. Um, talked to uh, the Swoop people and, and managed to complete a race without screwing it up. And uh, hopefully we will get a lot of money out of that soon. Maybe enough to pay off uh, pay off the money I would get out of, well, money I would have to owe to get HK47 over there. That's an idea. I'll see if I can do that off camera. And if it's just enough to pay for it, I guess we'll find out for you.